Hey everybody, um, I just wanted to do a third and final update on the, uh, the daylilies that we divided and repotted last fall. And um, the last time we talked about them, they looked like buckets of dirt. Um, but now they look great. They're looking um, like they're supposed to look. We have all this beautiful new growth coming out. And these are ready to be planted back into the landscape. And we've already done a few. We've already put a few back in the flower beds here at the research station. Um, it, it's a good idea to go ahead and give them a little shot of fertilizer, like a triple ten would be great. Um, just a basic general um, fertilizer will do fine. But these look good. Um, you may see, you may want to check them for aphids. I did find a few aphids on these, but those can easily be controlled with a um, with a neem oil or a horticultural oil, um, and they'll come right out of it. As you can see, they're not doing a whole lot of damage, and the, the foliage looks good and, and green and uh, healthy. So I think we did really good. I think we only had maybe four or five pots that um, that the roots did not produce foliage. So uh, I think we had about 100 pots. So that's pretty good. Um, so if you ever have um, the need to divide, dig up and divide your uh, daylilies, um, go back and watch these videos. It's a good tutorial. Um, it was really easy. You just have to be a little patient. And, uh, you um, want to keep dividing them because they're just they're not going to bloom as good if you don't divide them they're, they kind of choke themselves out so you really want to keep them divided every three years is ideal but four to five you know is, is is doable too you'll still have pretty good results with that but when you start to notice that they're not blooming as good um just very sparse blooms throughout the year that's a sign they're telling you they need to be divided so um that's what these were looking like and so i think Hopefully these clumps will bloom this year. We'll see. Sometimes it takes a little bit for them to rebound to start blooming again. But I think these will be ready to go. Um, we'll see what happens. Um, I may take some pictures as they start blooming again to show y'all um, that they just kind of bounce back pretty well. So anyway, I just wanted to wrap up the daylily uh, dividing process. And uh, hopefully y'all have good luck with your, your daylilies at home. Thanks for watching.